first of all thanks a lot everyone for joining us uh, for this master class session today let's welcome our next speaker of the day uh, we have tanya singhania with us uh, tanya is senior product manager at home credit previously she has built products for rbl bank and uh, in today's session we are going to understand different salary ranges into product management and uh, we are going to uh, know about the tactics to negotiate for higher salaries with tanya today so welcome tanya we are excited to have you here and Thank i would you. like you to take it forward hi guys so nice to see everybody and you know following pamit is going to be a huge task with all the meme fest but yeah i'll try my best i hope you are enjoying so far and uh, now i'm going to take you on a journey to understand what kind of salaries does this really really exciting role brings on and you know you must have heard from your colleagues people who are into product management have a fa fairly good idea of you know what the salaries are because you you talk to your colleagues and your friends but i know people who are, who are still you know looking up to transitioning into this field it's it's a really mystery you know it's 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 like people don't talk about it in fact when um, i was supposed to go and you know prepare these slides for you guys there was really very less material you know sort of on on the net and all i could check out was you know linkedin and payscale and few of these websites but then i thought let me just you know give you my stuff as well whatever i have seen during my experience and uh, through my networking skills so uh, let's dive deeper and see you know what what this is uh, basically there are a lot of factors that really you know uh, help into gauging what kind of salaries does this particular field brings you know so so you know before that in fact uh, product management is is something that you know it it is like an amalgam of a lot of different roles and like pamit rightly said you know you're not really a ceo but but you're doing everything right so uh, it, it's a lot of stakeholder management you do need to have all those different skills and this actually it's really difficult to put sort of a dollar value to what you're really doing in some of the roles you know you you are handling a pnl or a book size so it's it's still like you know you can say that uh, i am uh, uh, you, you know uh, creating this much revenue so you can simply uh, you know uh, justify your roi and then you can ask for that a particular salary but uh, in most cases it, the the job description itself is pretty hazy right so you know the what i have found out is there are few things that really go into uh, how the salaries are really structured and uh, one of them would be the location so where you are you know whether you are uh, globally placed let's say in north american continent or in uk or or you are here in india and in india also which will, i'll be majorly talking about india in fact here also uh, you know how salary is different uh, differ between tier 1 and tier 2 cities uh, how they are different from let's say bangalore chennai hyderabad to you know delhi ncr so we'll we'll uh, dive deeper into that there's another uh, factor that really matters is the organization that you are really going into so you know what policies the particular company has what is the size of that company and uh, what's the parity there or what kind of uh, uh, you know designation are you really getting into so a, a lot of factors uh, sort of you know matter and go into uh, deciding what the salary would be like and of course your experience you know definitely and it, it's i think more or less obvious that uh, either the younger ones would be drawing much much lesser than uh, you know the senior uh, than the senior ones like for example uh if you are just an entry level product manager you will be drawing you know on, on the lower end of the graph and as you move along the ladder it will be much much higher and we'll look at all those numbers in a, a couple of minutes and the last one would be the roles uh, like pamit also said uh, you know there are different roles there are allied roles that go along with the product manager so technical tech it product manager digital product manager product marketing there's so many things and salaries also slightly differ with these uh, roles we'll we'll check this out okay uh so just to give you guys an overview uh you know uh, i i saw a couple of uh, websites and I, I, i did a bit of research and what i can tell you is the average salary like you know the median of the graph would be somewhere around 17 lakhs this is the base and uh, so here you know again uh like a disclaimer don't hold my neck but uh, this is more like a median salary i mean there are there are a lot of cases which are uh, in in le let's say the you know lower end of the curve and a lot of them are in the higher end but this is this is something that you know i have averaged around 
with with the major companies that are hiring in product manager positions and uh, uh, you know a lot in fact a lot of organizations they don't even they hire for a product manager role but the designation does not say so so you know all all that is not really accounted for but overall if if you have want to have a ballpark in your mind it's 17 you know or it's actually 16.6 but yeah 17 and but it can totally range from you know the starting could range from 8 9 lakhs per annum and could go up till 30 35 40 and i have seen senior product managers drawing uh, you know as high as 50 lakhs per annum right so it's a huge spectrum there there's a lot of uh, scope and uh, i would say that you know uh, uh, it it totally depends on your skill set and where you are uh, really negotiating so you know we will see a couple of more points later there are a lot of other components that also go into it so for example you know what's your annual bonus so i've seen uh, in a lot of uh, companies the you know apart from the base salary uh, especially in product management management roles they give you a sort of a joining bonus or an annual bonus uh, i've seen it in banking uh, you know from my experience this annual bonus component is particularly there in consulting and uh, definitely there in banking the joining bonus is generally offered when you are negotiating let's say you know you have you have you really um, how would i say you know you are really interested in this role but you are at a higher salary the company's policy is not to offer you let's say you know above a particular benchmark and then that's where you would neg- negotiate and let's say you know please give me a 4 lakh joining bonus and i am happy right because that will cover your roi for at least 2 or 3 years so that's how you do it and uh, a lot of new age startups are also giving stock options nowadays and i have seen people getting you know in 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 like stealth startups they they are getting uh, stock options even up to 10 12 20 lakhs so you know i like i have a friend and uh, he he just joined a stealth startup here in gurgaon his base is just 8 lakhs per annum but he he is getting these stock options worth almost 22 lakhs so you know whenever the startup goes public i think he's he's going to be really rich so yeah that's the kind of you know game a lot of companies also play uh moving on uh, i also have a little bonus slide for you in the end so wait for that uh moving on the first we'll we'll just dive deeper in all the factors the first one was company or the organization like i told you guys it totally depends on the size of the company whether you are mid sized company whether you are you are really huge you are your fang one of the fangs or or whether you are an early age small startup small teams uh, so it it totally depends on you know what kind of salaries uh, are being offered in what uh, how big the company is and definitely it depends on the industry so i did a bit of research and it so linkedin says that you know transportation and logistics have uh, people get uh, generally an average salary of 20 lakhs corporate services 18 software and it 18 and then entertainment 17 see i don't really you know i i don't want you guys to go online and check out and say this is like the truth or the bible right because whatever information you will find online it's it's all uh, speculative it's all something what people have really put their responses into and you know it it may vary it it and it really does vary a lot so uh, you know don't don't just go by what the uh, numbers say online uh, i will tell you from my own experience that i have seen uh, people who are in let's say banking uh, because i come from that banking background i have seen that people start at a le- a little lower uh, packages for example icsa gives you an average of around 11 and a half um access at the same time is around 10 hdfc is even lesser at 8 uh, and these are the starting salaries majorly but then the growth also you know over the years um the increments are pretty less like 5 to 8% but uh, the moment you do a promotion it will be like a spike of 20 25 or even 40 i have seen people getting rating 1 and a promotion getting 42% hike uh, my own friends so you know that happens and whereas uh, wizo is one of the some of the top companies some of the top unicorns in india ola flipkart and all they would give you salaries like 25 lakh per annum like ola gives you 28 and a half to 30 lakhs per annum and uh, again uh, you know it totally depends on what you are really bringing to the table because uh, from my experience getting getting into a bank is slightly easier than getting into 
uh, let's say uh, ola or flipkart or mintra or you know uh, uh, and amazon and uh, believe me i have given interviews for everything so yeah it's it's you know that, that's how the pay scale also uh, changes and uh, and you would you would see that you know the number of rounds the difficulty of each of these rounds uh, like the big companies they do justify you know those uh, higher salaries because they will take that much juice out of you as well so be very very uh, cognizant of where you're going and uh, the bigger the salary the more you have to prove your worth right so yes uh, the next factor is education again uh, it's it's not that you know you have done uh, let's say just bachelors and and you're saying that you know i Uh, probably somebody who's from an isb or an ima definitely you know they 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 would have that uh, pedigree on the on their back and uh, the the start would be much easier for them but then what i have seen is uh, especially in product management you know over a few years especially uh, when you are 3 to 4 years uh, you know experienced people don't really ask uh, your background in education they it it's essential in in some of the jds i've seen that you know you you need to have a computer science background or you an mba is a must or sometimes an mba is an add on but um, it does give you a push definitely but if you're really good you know i have seen software developers who are just uh, you know bsc or uh, even from a very uh, just graduation backgrounds you know unknown universities they after a certain number of years 7 8 and 9 years and if they are doing really well they they are earning much more than what i am graduates are earning and you know i have seen it with like uh, in my own experience so it it matters initially yes the starting toward 3 uh, years are like a good platform if you are from a good college but then later on it it totally depends on your skills and that brings me to the second point the skills that you're bringing on the table you know the kind of industry know how you have so a lot of traditional companies they they put a lot of weightage if you're coming from the same industry so access would love it if you're coming from an icsi or or probably you know a tata click would love it if you're coming from flipkart so the the similar industry experience even though as a product manager when you're working with digital products in industry it it really does not matter because it's it's more about your customer obsession and you know a lot of other things that you you bring on but then being in the similar industry what really helps is that the knowledge of a lot of uh, you know policies so for example in in my experience since i had come from a banking experience i knew the rbi policies i knew how the mortgages uh, are calculated or how liability products are done so you know that kind of uh, gives you an edge over other candidates when you're interviewing and also when you're performing in your own job right because you bring that experience you draw from your earlier uh, experiences so that really helps and uh nowadays a lot of new uh, age technology is also in for example machine learning or ai and if you are then anything in internet of things it's it's pretty new it's pretty popular and a lot of companies are uh, really uh, you know uh, ready to give huge uh, packages to people who come with such skill set and definitely analytics uh, a lot of people uh, in in my experience they they run after these uh, analytics courses because they think that you know if they would write business analysis in their resume and uh, that could just uh, you know put a bump in their uh, packages but uh, trust me it's it's uh, not only about courses or the diplomas or the certifications that you really do uh, like pramit also said it it it's all about how friendly you are with data how you can really justify in an interview and in your job uh, consequently that you know uh, if you can derive good insights from the data that's where you have learned your analytics not from any uh, tableau or any excel courses or or whatever you may run after right okay too much gyan moving on next is location uh, again uh, i saw that uh, you know surprisingly bangalore has a 17% higher uh, packages than the national average whereas our delhi ncr is 28% lesser so i was like oh god i i mean gurgaon and it it's really sucks but yeah that's true and i have seen it because when i was in when i was a product manager in mumbai for the first 3 years of my career the kind of offers i was getting were definitely uh, you know uh, different than what i would get uh, from bangalore and completely different from what we get in new delhi so somewhere i think it's it's about the company's psychology that uh, probably bangalore has got uh, you know better 
pedigree or better crowd or more talented people so there is a lot of demand in those areas pune hyderabad bangalore like they they top the list with very good base salaries for example 20 lakhs 18 lakhs and you know they are, they are they are really on the topping the charts whereas if you come to let's say chennai or uh, noida or or for that matter like you know mumbai it's it's much lesser so as you can see here also i have given a distribution don't go just by what the numbers are but it gives you a bit of sense right uh, okay i can't see the chat so if somebody is asking me something i i might have missed out sorry i i just checked it where might noida fall okay guys noida is i think uh, so when i say delhi ncr uh, i think it it's all the same apart from ptm i have not seen anybody really giving huge packages and uh, because noida has a lot of uh, you know it software companies as well so they pretty much uh, are in the ranges of 12 to 13 and um, <laughs> that's funny noida falls in up yeah i know but uh, you know that the salary matters right let's come back to the topic and um, uh, okay i got another question what is the median base salary you have uh, i'll talk to you separately santosh it's a huge uh, medium to dis, uh, you know disclose my salary here but definitely i can give you some uh, insights separately okay moving on uh, okay this thing is not working for me yeah so next is experience uh, again you know your your experience from uh, where how many years have you been into this particular field really help for example when you are initially starting you know you are recruited in the role of, role of associate product managers and there you generally start at 9 9 1/2 10 usually it could be a bit lesser also and as you move up the ladder you you may become a product manager and then come into the category of let's say 14 to 15 16 and then you you would move on to an spm or a product leader category which could take up your salary packages from straight away from 17 18 to up till 25 and then you know 30 plus and similarly with the years of experience it, they actually go hand in hand so initially first four years you are you are still you know stuck somewhere 12 13 15 and then suddenly after four five years the jump is is from 15 16 to almost 22 23 24 this is all base salary and then the moment you you cross that 7 8 years benchmark this is what i've seen from all the job descriptions and huh? this is what i'm giving you from my experience uh, that 7 8 years of benchmark the moment you cross it you know you you can comfortably ask for a 26 28 and 30 plus salaries uh, nicely so uh, that's the distribution i have seen i may be completely wrong but uh, this is my experience the next uh, factor that really affects is roles uh, like uh, i was talking about earlier as well uh, you know the career path matters but also the allied role so you may not be completely you know as a person suitable for a, being a product manager you could be an excellent let's say product owner or even better product marketing manager so uh, these allied roles also sort of attract very good packages almost at par with uh, product managers for example product owners have a base salary of around 10 10 and 10 and a half uh, they are generally Uh, i would say a bit on the lesser side than a product manager but if you talk about a technical product manager or product marketing manager they are almost at par uh, again it totally depends so in my experience when i was a product marketing manager i was given a huge book uh, like pnl to handle right so uh, when you are when you in role when you have to justify numbers sales targets or or some sort of revenue out of the products that you are pushing out the door then uh, the the base might be restricted but there's a lot of bonus component that gets added right so it it bumps up your salary there uh, similarly you can see senior product managers and group product managers are somewhere between 20 to 25 range depending on the company and depending on your experience so generally this is this has been the uh, criteria so you know if i have to summarize everything i would say that um, it 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 depends like again you will you will think that you know she she is only saying it depends but it it really does a lot of different factors you know cater into what are your negotiation skills whom are you really talking to uh, what is the batch parity in that company i have seen personally you know that i was drawing uh, more in one of the companies but then when i was interviewing with another company uh, they said that tanya we believe that you deserve more but we just cannot give you because it's not in our policy and the people from the same batch from your college are drawing this much and there 
is when that i realized that uh, probably uh, you know the, these companies are very ethical that way right because then you don't have that feeling that you're being paid less because when you're on the other side of the table when uh, when the others are actually earning more and you're earning lesser and you're almost doing the same amount of work and within the same uh, you know teams it it does bring a lot of uh, you know dissonance and then you don't feel like working or or you're not you're 100% so that ways i think you should you should always have these things in mind that you know whenever you're negotiating whenever you are having or setting your expectations when you're uh, interviewing with a company you know what the salary scales are like what people are drawing at the same level from the same university is there or how much the company can really you know push the bench for you because you are again a different person bringing a different skill set on the table right that actually brings me to our next segment which is negotiating salaries uh i will try to give you a few tips uh, and some of the instances that i you know some of the things that i have learned from giving hundreds of interviews and even getting some offers uh, as well i have interviewed with uh, a lot of good companies l'oreal amazon google and i've converted also amazon and google there's a different reason i didn't join but then uh, you know the experience was tremendous i got to learn so many things i have interviewed with a lot of startups app based companies and uh, and i can comfortably say that they are completely different you know how i would prepare for a banking interview is completely different from what i prepared for my apollo 247 interview or my uh, zomato interview so you know it's it, it's really different and uh, when it comes to salaries uh the the factor that really helps is you know that how confident you are so that brings me to my first tip which is like if you have any fear for example you have just transitioned into product management you are coming from a software field or you are coming from a uh, ba field or you know some uh, you have you are a new age uh, product manager you you think that you know probably if i ask more they might rescind the offer or or they won't select me or or you think that you know probably there are better people out there there are there are people who have been to pa uh, product management for 5 6 years or 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 you know you have spoken to somebody and he is really scared you about see punch that fear out okay because uh, it really does not matter what other people think about that company it 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 all depends on how good a fit you are with that particular role you know it 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 has to be a a nice fit like a like two pieces of puzzle and if you don't feel that way if you if you're not confident enough to uh, ask the the value of your worth you know what what you feel your worth then there is no point even going to that company right because if if the negotiation is making you that fearful imagine what it will do when you are be working there so be cognizant of all these factors and have that attitude that you know they have interviewed so you so far you have brought into the process they are giving you an offer do you are good enough like that's that's precisely why you're here and nobody else is because to select one person they must have gotten like thousands or 500 resumes they shortlisted you and and then at the end they took out time effort and even even cost to sort of interview a few people and then somebody actually selected you right so always always know that it is beneficial for them also that you say yes to the offer and obviously it's beneficial for you as well right so uh, you know push them if you feel like if you if you think you're worth more do push them and ask for it uh the next point is um setting the expectations right like i know that i am telling you to push yourself but then you should know your actual worth right uh, for example okay uh, you're drawing 14 lakhs per annum and let's say you're an associate product manager and uh, you're you're interviewing for a company abc and you know that the average salary there is 24 lakhs per annum okay but you're at 14 right you cannot simply just i mean you can obviously but then you know that you are coming from an apm role and you're transitioning into a pm role and probably uh, a 40 50% hike is is sort of uh, you know uh, i think a 40% hike is also uh, on the higher end because companies are not very uh, you know they, they don't easily give that so probably you you may want to set a number for yourself you know which is your floor number so let's say you set a number 20 that aaj main 14 pe hu mujhe 20 karna hai right then stick to that number okay just because you heard from somebody wahan to 24 milta hai don't go and 
sit on hr side and say nahi i know you you give 24 to people i need 24 because then they will have a candidate who's happily going to uh, agree at 20 and then your chances sort of decrease right so be uh, be polite to them first of all and be reasonable okay they they have chosen you they have similar goals as you but stick to your flow and and know what you're worth and ask accordingly right uh next research see uh go online talk to your peers talk to your seniors uh check out what the glass door says or the pay scale says or six figure says about salaries base pays uh in that particular company in that particular role try to find some of the other seniors from your own college who is in that particular company because somebody who is an insider can give you the best sort of information so do your homework network a lot and crunch the numbers so you are in product manager right numbers are your best friend so just crunch those numbers say what the gross is uh, what the net comes out to be after paying taxes are you happy with what you will be getting in hand is it paying your emis is it paying your uh, you know is it sufficient for ex- expenses plus your savings plus let's say a uh, 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 travel also like you know it, are you comfortable with that sort of in hand salary a lot of companies i have seen they uh they give you a good joining bonus and they would lure you with you know excellent job descriptions and and uh, these excellent perks but then the in hand is really less and because you have not calculated at the time of offer you were so jumpy that acha mujhe 12 baje offer hai 1 baje i will say yeah, do i am okay i am coming right don't do that because uh you might get trapped so please take time the day you get your offer call listen to it very carefully study it nicely go back talk to your family talk to your friends do your network then go back to them in fact let them also think now that what is this guy thinking is he saying going to say yes is he going to say no create that mystery don't have to jump and say that you know yes i am very happy with the offer and on the other side if you're not happy with the offer you were expecting a 20 you got an 18 and a half don't simply just start uh, on the call itself you know tell the hr that no 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 i had 20 in mind no listen to it in fact be very zen about it you know be be like a yogi okay i've heard it i'm studying i'm studying the offer really carefully i'm going back to my place and now think how you can negotiate more you know how you can leverage your skills tell them that what you what extra you're bringing to the table tell them that this is what i have learned according to my research uh, you're giving uh, you know to to uh, to other people at the same role so uh, my expectations are this is it possible or is there a room for negotiation you know be polite and then start the negotiations so if you if you think if you keep all these little things in mind and uh, you know a, a good thing that i am going to tell you is when you are really polite and when you are uh, you know confident about what you are asking the hr also feels that this guy is a, or girl is a cultural fit for the organization you might not know but you know sometimes salary negotiations can go a bit on the uh, icky side and the hrs can you know have a dislike for you and then they will try to push the other candidate who is the plan b right the hiring manager might like you more but the hr will go back and say nahi nahi isko nahi ya dusra wala is better right so don't get trapped into the situation make sure that you know you are in good books with the hr okay and but again you know know your worth as well and lastly look at the benefits if you think that uh, i can still live with the uh, you know uh, the offer that they are giving me i i wanted a 21 but it's a 20 but maybe probably you want to look at all the additional benefits that the uh, offer is bringing you know it um, maybe you you guys are too young but after a couple of years you will realize that child care or or uh, travel allowance or the proximity of your office to your home all these factors also matter right a peace of mind you know a good ethical nice company which values your time uh, which uh, also thinks uh, about your family gives you a nice medical plan so you know these additional uh, perks can also uh, be uh, something that you can really look at while negotiating so i think you guys have taken my tips and more or less are ready for the interview so nail it and uh, this is the bonus slide that i promised i'll be very quick um, these are some of the uh, things that i've learned from my uh, you know friends 
uh, for example, uh, you can go through it. Uh, so recently, this IIT guy I know, he has this nine, no, I think ten years of experience. He interviewed with Zomato, and he got a base pay of forty five point nine, which is essentially forty six. So a forty six lakh package with just a graduation, with just a B Tech degree, definitely IIT, uh, Ivy League. But um, you know, you can crack that. And uh, uh, similarly, at the same uh, time, I have this friend who. So I've not listed all the colleges, so please don't uh, say that you know your college is not there. I've just given you a, a benchmark. So for example, I was gonna give you this example. A person from Jim, you know, Goa Institute of Management. It's a tier two college, right? Comfortably, it's not Ivy League. Uh, he got into Uber with a CTC of 37. Like he cracked the 37 CTC, and it it was amazing because I have only heard about people from ISB or IM getting that much, right? And at the same time, I have I had friends from um, IMB and IMC uh, who were drawing twelve and a half as well, you know, in in some of the companies. So again, both ends of the spectrum. And uh, so it's 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 like um, he was an MBA from uh, JIM. Uh, so it's it's like you know you you could be just ten uh, years of experience. You could be just a Delhi University graduate, and you you could get into urban company with a package of eighteen, nineteen, or you could be, uh, you know, uh, just starting your career. Uh, let's say a, a fresh twenty twenty, pass out from IMK and still getting a package of fifteen. So you know, the variation is tremendous, and I think with this I have surpassed a lot of my time. I'm really sorry, and I'll close it here. Thank you guys for listening and bearing with me. Thanks a lot, Tanya. Uh, this was really helpful. And uh, as as Tanya, I did the disclaimer. We conducted a lot of surveys before coming up with these uh, numbers. So, uh, so you guys know. Uh, yeah, please don't point. hold my or Piyush's neck. Okay, guys, these are all indicative numbers. Huh? Definitely, you guys can touch. Uh, you know, you you get in touch with me, and uh, if you give me your uh, experience, your background, I can definitely guide you more uh, with your uh, sort of background. So yeah, thanks.